despising the fact that Neptune was one of the most popular creators, he hasn't made a level since 1.9 or even been active in the community in over six and a half years. In 1.8, Neptune was actually known as one of the best creators in the game. But why did he stop doing what he did in the game? Well, in this video, sadly, we're not going to be talking about that. But we are going to be talking about what, how and why is Neptune's levels so unique. So, enjoy the video. Picture that it's 2014, where almost nobody can even beat even one demon level. Basically, how we see like easy demons to this date is how people saw four stars. But anyways, back on track. Ne Neptune's first level was a three star, Stereo Madness V2. I'm gonna be honest, the first little bit of the gameplay is repetitive, but honestly, this level wasn't even that bad for its time. In early 2014, levels like this was just like taking any best level in the game or even any main level and just like making your own version and your own gameplay with that. And people loved it. Especially Rob Top. Honestly, you can even see Rob Top still rate levels that are his own style to date. Maybe not a lot, but still some. But also for Stereo Madness V2, like the little bit of like the visuals, like the structures and stuff do have a little bit of improvement from the original Stereo Madness. Honestly, most like new V2s and like old V2s that are like hard demons, I don't really like and that they play like crappier. But honestly, Stereo Madness V2 plays like w way better than the original Stereo Madness. It However, it is a little hard for a 3 star, but the gameplay's not boring. Like, even most 3 stars that are, like, <laughs> brand new or just recently featured are just not as fun, really. But yeah, solid first level, honestly. I rated a 7.5 out of 10. Honestly, though, not only do I find Neptune's V2s better than the original main levels, I find his coin rods better, too. So... Everybody knows that secret coins were like made in 1.6, but if you don't, well, yeah, that they, they were the secret coins got released in 1.6. There were originally no coins in the game like before 2014 at all. But anyways, um, user coins didn't come out until I want to say like 1.9 or something like that. So people decide to use this shitty strat to recreate secret coins by like basically just using like these round objects and a star in the editor like it's it's pretty effortless if you think about it nowadays when people use like um, custom user coins they look so much better but yeah welcome to 1.6 anyways i'm gonna stop talking about how coins are made or whatever so the back on track like coin does use a shittier strat or the same strat but it's actually better like to play in my opinion first of all not only it, like can you actually see the transition better and it plays better literally when you can get to the coin you can just literally hold and you can get past the first jump and honestly i like how like neptune just uses his own ideas to make gameplay like usually the coin route for the first coin would be like close to the ship but like now it's just earlier in the level at 18 percent and i fucking love that that's what I love about like Neptune's V2s. He just completely like mixes up the gameplay and pretty much comes with his own ideas and his own coin routes. That that's what I love. He also uses like completely different colors than the main levels too, and he uses like so much unique like structuring for when he makes the different gameplay. Like at base after base at 25, like bruh, you have to be like Albert Einstein to come up with that. Like back in 2014. Obviously, the standards were really low, like, back at the time, but if epic ratings existed, i honestly say this would get epic rated. Epic feature, or whatever. Let's talk more about base after base, though. The coin, like, the first, the first or second coin, whatever, is so satisfying to get. How to get it is a little confusing and a little bit blind, but let's be honest, nobody in 2014 knew how to make a perfect coin. And they, people now today still don't, to be honest. So when you get to 42%, when it looks like you're about to click and then let go, however, you don't. You just, like, click once, and at 42, you just go down, uh, just, like, wait up there for the bit on, like, the block you were supposed to jump over the triple spike. 
uh, switch gravity, and then jump, and then boom, you got the coin. Like, it, it's so cool. Like, I really love how that flows, bro. That This is how base after base should have been made, honestly. Also, what I love about Neptune's V2s is you can literally swag route and do, like, cool ways to, like, do the paths and stuff, and it, it's just so fun to do. Also, the third coin in base after base V2 is, like, so much easier to read. Like, I I'm genuinely serious. Can, like, base after base V2 just be the original base after base? Like... Oh, remember when I said Neptune adds his own coin routes and, like, comes up with creative ideas? Well, guess what? Apparently, that coin we just mentioned wasn't the last coin. It was actually the second coin. The last coins at the end were... It's pretty easy and it's pretty satisfying to do as well. So, sadly, Neptune is, like, mostly known of, like, replicating Robtop's levels, but he has made a couple, like, projects from his own ideas, and they're decently good. But we're gonna start off the one that's like closest to inspired off rock top levels. This is Z step. And let's look into it. So for starting off with Z step, the decoration is awesome. And, and for its time, like 1.6 to 1.8 or whenever this was made, this is so cool. Same with the gameplay, actually. I love the structuring with like the, the freaking uh, type of ground spikes and like the small blocks. Like it's so cool. Also, I love how the drop, it's literally exactly like almost the same drop as the original x step except the gameplay is way more better and way more like side readable and stuff and like the decoration is kind of like in a 1.6 type of style like same aim like game player theme like x step except just different style to it and i i love it honestly and also i'm not gonna lie x step is is kind of boring now like i wanted to give myself a challenge at the time but like now that I'm playing like Z-Step, it's so much more better to play, it's just like I want to keep playing it all like all over again, like more and more and more. Also these fakes where it looks like you're going into another path but you're really not is so creative. Like bro, how, how did Neptune come up with this stuff? So I'm looking in the comments of Jungle Joyride and man, people are just hating on like this level for no reason really. I wouldn't say hating on it, but just saying that the gameplay is boring and repetitive. Well, first of all, this was literally made in 1.8. Like, I don't think really anyone knew how to, like, make um, good gameplay. And second of all, like, the decoration is actually, like, solid. Like, really good. Like, normally for, like, 1.8 levels, I just see, like, mostly hard demons with, like, bad gameplay. But this actually has, like, extremely good decoration for 1.8. My favorite part, I have to say, is this, like, rainstorm that Neptune added in, like, in the middle of the level with, like, the clouds and stuff and, like, the lines or something like that. Honestly, for 1.8, this is, like, really impressive. This, like, level really improves or, like, shows, like, what you can do in, like, the 1.8 editor. And, honestly, you can do a lot of creative things because if this level was made in, like, 2014, then... That just proves how good like the 1.8 editor could be and honestly i've inspired like some of parts from like jungle joyride in uh one of my 1.8 levels called ditos and i inspired the um, the raindrops one and or not the raindrop the rainstorm like with the lightning and stuff in the clouds when it looks like it's raining and also the part at like in the 70s where neptune uh decides to make trees yeah i, I inspired that part too Honestly, I don't know how Neptune comes up with, like, these art levels he makes. Like, it's so good with, like, the trees and stuff. But, yeah, I don't know how people can really hate this level. Like, it, it's so good for its time. I'm not gonna lie, the structuring is good. Like, I'd say, like, the last, like, 10% of the structuring it just improves so much. And, like, to be honest, like, nobody literally knew how to make this type of stuff. Like, so, yeah, you can't really hate on this level. Honestly though, in total, that I would say is the best level I'm gonna have to go to like last processing V2. Cause it's just so much different from blast processing like gameplay and decoration wise. But for like theming and stuff, like making it feel like it's the same level but it's not. Like it's so good. But honestly though, I'm looking at the Steam like post by Alkion about like what really happened to Neptune. 
Um, some people say that he's dead or like he just found like ha he hacked and he left. But honestly, I don't even think like those are even true, to be honest. My guess is like the same reason why most old popular creators like leave the game. Like they either got bored, their life is just too hard. Or like it could be the same reason as Jax has been like really inactive of the game for like the last nine years or whatever. But apparently the reason why Jax has like been like so, so inactive of the game is because apparently he had a job where he worked like 15 hours every day. And then, yeah, he didn't really, like, get any free time. But anyways, he started to, like, come back, like, two years ago. He recently made a YouTube channel, like, publishing, like, Project J and stuff. And it's, like, recently, like, the long lost and discovered maps are off Lar guys. Which, honestly, it's pretty fun, especially for a level that was, like, created in 1.8. Maybe that could be the same with Neptune. Like, maybe he also has a job. Maybe he did just decide to completely leave YouTube and, like, leave the game Maybe he just has a family or something like that. Like, there could be, like, so many reasons why Neptune has, like, never returned to the game or, like, at least said hi or been inactive in, like, the last six and a half years. I don't think a lot of people have, like, bought that Neptune's dead, but a lot of people have bought that he, like, hacked, apparently, which I don't know if they're talking about, like, hacked, like, just playing, which I assume. I don't know how you can hack by creating levels, but, yeah, um... I, I assume that, which honestly, if that rumor is true, I wouldn't be surprised because like Nep I didn't really see Neptune beat like a lot of hard levels or like just even play them really. I just see him like mostly create according to his YouTube channel. Yeah, I want to see the hardest level Neptune's ever beaten or like quote unquote beat was like of him verifying Necropolis. But at the same time, if he did hack, I honestly wouldn't be surprised because Necropolis would have been, like, one of the hardest levels, and he verified it in literally a day. Same with a couple other of his hard demons and stuff like that. However, it is his own gameplay, so maybe Neptune is just good at making memory levels, maybe he's just good at memorizing them and stuff like that. Because he even made, like, a tutorial on YouTube on how to, like, make spike jumps. And he even said that anyone could make, like, the hardest demon and verify it in the game. So, I, honestly, I don't believe, I don't want to believe he hacked. But a lot of people are saying it. And at the same time, if he really did, I wouldn't really be surprised. But, yeah. I even seen one person, like, make a whole entire 50-minute video of just showing, like, almost every, like, rated Neptune level, which pretty much means, like, every Neptune level, because I don't even think Neptune even has a single unrated level, so pretty much just every um, Neptune level where he created. But honestly, what I want to remember of, from Neptune the most, like, even if he doesn't return to the game by, like, 2.2, which I'm, I'm pretty sure he will because like let's be honest a lot of people will be playing the game once 2.2 comes out but um I, I think he like mainly just is known for like starting this whole v2 trend and stuff like that which i already mentioned but i just want to go over it anyways um i hope neptune does like return to the game and makes like finger dash v2 which he probably won't or like any other 2.2 like level remake because i I don't think he will create again because he literally said that and he just not good at the editor anymore or anything like that. But personally, I think he can like figure it out. But also another thing that's been happening with that has to do with like Neptune apparently is some uh, some player named Jupiter like GD was like trying to make everybody think that oh I'm Neptune I just made a new account, which that's why like Neptune came back like also a year before. 2.1 came out just to like clarify that oh that's not me it's just someone else and stuff like that and also for all in like one year or not even a year of like neptune creating he's made it decently far he's like managed to gain like up to 60 creator points in literally under a year of him creating in like 1.8 or whatever somewhere some a uh, couple updates in 2014 which honestly that that's just awesome but yeah, I I generally think Neptune is one of the most well known and but yet one of the most forgotten creators. But honestly, he's not like M2 Call or like 
Um, Darnock, well, actually, no, Darnock will never get forgotten. I, I probably shouldn't have not mentioned him. Or, like, pretty much just any creator, like, like those, like M2 Call, like, M2 Calls for, it does get forgotten, but he does get remembered mainly because he's the creator of Demon Park. But, yeah, honestly, though, if, like, Neptune does return to the game, like, I, the community's gonna blow up because literally... Zoro is even like returned for like literally three seconds just to do a community post uh, like six months ago and even people got crazy about that I don't even want to imagine like how crazy like people are gonna be when like they find out oh Neptune's creating again Neptune's coming back in 2.2 what I, I hope that I hope that does actually happen because it would be nice to see like Neptune make new novels especially since even his gameplay Back in the day, it's like pretty decent. Like I genuinely enjoyed playing like those V2s, but honestly, it's just not the same thing as it was like back six years ago when I found out those levels existed. Honestly, the truth is like y you don't like want to bring memories back from the time e like you had good times. You just want to miss feeling that way. So at the same time. I, I'm probably like, oh, I want to go back to 2014, uh, like, I bet it feels good, but no, uh, the chance, the truth is, I, I, I probably won't, I just want to miss the way I felt, and I'm pretty sure that's for, like, a lot of people. Anyways, thank you for watching this video, I, I guess I'll see you all in the next video of when 2.2 comes out. Alright, yeah, have a good day, and goodbye.